Next event on the track is the men's 5,000 meters, the NCAA meet record by Alistair Gray. Many time All American from Arkansas. Galen Rupp, of course, the collegiate record holder at 13, 18, 12. Where he had an, oh, we may have somebody thrown out of this 5,000. Diego Estrada of Northern Arizona moved at the line, not unlike what happened in the 800. Next event on the track, the men's 5,000 meters, the great Arkansas runner, Alistair no, Gray, the meet record and the collegiate record held by Oregon's Galen Rupp. What a great career he had here and what an incredible indoor championships he had here in this building two years ago. Sam Chilanga, the class of the field on paper. Liberty Senior from Nairobi. And we've got 15 athletes in this final. And we'll get the chance to take a look at every single one of them on the screen. And this pace is initially much more honest. Sam on the inside, Chilenga not fooling around and, and letting everybody tarry, as, as is wise for him to do. He's out in the pack outside. Doesn't have the lead yet, but let's see if he gravitates and grabs it. First lap in about 32 seconds, a little bit less than that. Mohamed Ahmed of Wisconsin, the sophomore, taking the lead, but Chilenga only too happy to take it from him. This needs to be, if Chilanga is going to have a victory here, a much stronger, faster pace that Sam has to set. He can't fool around. He doesn't have a great kick. He can have a long, sustained kick, but it's not. He can't do the 57, 56, 400 meters at the end of the race, and that won't get a victory if it's a slow pace. So Sam Chilanga, the senior from Liberty, accomplished cross-country runner, 10,000-meter runner. This is a sprint for him. Two-time national collegiate champion, both in Terre Haute, Indiana, at their great cross-country course that they have there. And the pace continues to just quicken just a little bit, just perceptibly. Now the keep of Stanford is right there in second. I didn't get into detail that he's got to be fearful of the men behind him is he's got guys like Elliot career uh, uh, excuse me uh, Leonard career from Iona has excellent sprint speed another Kenyan who's in the race Ben Huber's from Indiana has run under four minutes for the mile you, you've got really very fast guys here who can run close to four minutes for the mile alone Sam has to touch that and they can accelerate and they can really burn it over the last 400 meters. So he needs to take the kick out. He needs to exhaust these guys as best he can. And it puts a real burden on someone like himself who doesn't have a great kick. Well, it couldn't be a larger contrast from the women's race, which was uh, basically running in place. This field is nicely strung out very quickly, just two and a half minutes into this race, and everybody's pretty much in single file line because Chilanga is really pushing the pace. First thousand meters, Dwight, 239 and change. And watching Sam's turnover, he's going to keep this thing up and keep everything honest here. Look how everybody is strung out at this point. That's a great shot right there. You can see he's definitely stressing these guys early on here. Steven Sambu of Arizona now in third. Interesting story about Sam Chalanga. Has a brother who is an outstanding marathon named Joshua. Ran two hours, seven minutes, one Rotterdam, one Seoul. He's a very accomplished runner. Ran with Paul Turgot. And Sam's idea of working hard in high school, as far as physical training went for his sport, was to play table tennis. And said, I, I don't care if it's running and so forth. So he gets out of school, and his brother says, look, you're mean. I can see you have ability, in my opinion. You either come and join us in our training camp and find out if you've got ability, or you can work on my farm for me. 
So Sam said, okay, I'll train. So a year later, seeing a lot of ability, Turgot goes to bat for him and gets him a scholarship at Fairleigh Dickinson. He decides he wants to transfer after a year, winds up at Liberty, and as they say, the rest is history. Now applying for American citizenship, by the way, he's well along in the process and may not get it accomplished in time to become an American citizen in time for the 2012 Olympic Games. He's hoping that can be achieved. Loves this country, says it's great. Majoring in international relations is Chilean. And he continues to lead from Elliot Heath of Stanford. 47, excuse me, 417 for the first 1600, 1600 meters, so it's about a 419 mile pace. Steven Sambu of Arizona and third, Diego Estrada from the uh, altitude of northern Arizona in fourth, and then Leonard Career of Iona in fifth. Those five have sort of separated themselves. Then there's another group of five, and then a final group of six. So 16 runners in this race, not 15. But Chilanga just pounding the pace. But same point, right? No deviation. I asked his coach, Brent Tolzma, at the NCAA championships, uh, was he in better shape than the year before? And Brent's honesty was great. He said, I don't know. Well, you know, I interpreted maybe not quite the shape. Nonetheless, Sam ran a very smart tactical race, still won. The year before, Sam said, I think I can run four minutes and 40 seconds on the hills, on the grass, no matter how cold it is. And his coach said, you know, if somebody can run better than 440, he said, that's amazing. He deserves the victory. And that's what he averaged, four minutes and 40 seconds on the nose for 6.2 miles in difficult weather conditions and fairly high, tall, thick grass, which slows you down a bit. I don't know if the, uh, the front group of five slowed down a little bit or if the second group of five got it together and decided to make the effort to join up, but now it's a pretty indistinguishable group of 15 in a pretty much single file line. Contact there between Career and Estrada. Career's a tough guy and a tough runner. Sambu is realizing, okay, we need to do something here because I have some kick. And if I have to keep going at this pace, I'm not going to be able to utilize it. So he decides to try and get in front. Let's see if he tries to slow things down ever so slightly. Sam at this point is probably happy to have someone take the stress off the lead. So now it's Steven Sambu, followed by Chalanga, then Heath of Stanford, Career of Iona, and Diego Estrada of Northern Arizona. 12 laps remain. Chalanga might be favored, but there's other guys who have run extremely well here, and we haven't really outlined it for you. Steven Sambo, a junior from Kenya and at the University of Arizona, coached by James Lee, 1341 for 5,000 meters. Leonard Careers run 1340 for this pace. Chris Derrick in the race coming back off some injury problems that he had for a month in January from Stanford, 1349. Elliot Heath has a 1337 marking, outstanding performance here, and he has the fastest time in the race so far. So Sambu continuing to lead and continuing to press. I thought he might get in there and try to slow it down ever so slightly, but that has not been the case. Sambu continuing to lead from Chilanga, Heath, Career, and Estrada. Ten laps remaining. Heath Bears watching in third place. He ran on a relay at the distance medley relay distance indoors this year. He's run right around four minutes in an open mile. He ran 355 for 1,600 meters. Do the math. That's a 357 mile pace. So he certainly bears watching late in the race because the man in third place, Elliot Heath. His brother Garrett, a professional runner, they've had great careers out there under distance coach Jason Dunn and head coach Edric Florio. Chalanga back in the lead. Sambu now 
following. Heath Salvin in third. Leonard Career in fourth and Diego Estrada. And now they are well clear of any pretenders behind them. A good 25 meter lead over that second group of five as Estrada now making a move on the outside to drop in or not. Estrada now sinking the pace has slowed a bit here, Dwight. Just cut back all of a sudden. 9-13 with eight laps to go. So Estrada now assumes the lead over Chalanga, then Sambu, Heath, and Career. Sambu now not comfortable where he was, moves out to lane two. Chalanga doing the same to take the lead back over as it come by with seven laps remaining. They're running laps at about, these, the pace is definitely slow. That's about a 66, 67 pace that they've been running. It has been pretty erratic out there after a very hard first mile. You notice heat staying out of this. Just letting everybody go back and forth and, and not worried about the dominance early in the race here. Gabriel Career now assumes the lead for the first time, followed by Shalanga, then Sambu, Estrada, now Heath in the rear of that group of five with six laps remaining. 66 seconds, last 400 meters. So a lot of extraneous energy being utilized. We'll have to find out later if it was wasted. Greer appears to be slowing things down ever so slightly. That's not good for Chalanga. He needs to get back out there and push it as we come by with five laps remaining. There's not only school pride at stake here, there's, uh, there's country pride. And tribe pride. Yeah. Three Kenyans up front, and boy, do they know how to play the game. Look at the back and forth, really. Heath is smart to stay out of it as they start to get towards lap running, uh, lap running runners. You know, there's a, there's a term in Kenya, which means harumba, work for the common good. Is the common good here, three Kenyans running together, trying to break anybody else that's with them, and then we'll decide what happens later. Well, Heath is starting to struggle and starting to drop off the back of that group of five. Estrada also struggling to stay up. They may have dropped Heath at this point, so it's Chilag in that career making another move. Career into the lead, Chalanga, Sambu, Estrada reconnecting, but he's still struggling. Coming by with three laps remaining in the men's 5,000 meters, that is Leonard Career of Iona in the front, followed by Sam Chalanga and Steven Sambu of, North, of Northern Arizona. Of Arizona. And they have been trading back and forth the lead over the last three or four laps. A lot of game playing going on. That's Diego Estrada of Northern Arizona trying to hang on there. And of course, Elliot Heath, who is right up with things for much of this race, has been dropped off the back in fifth. So as they come around with 400 meters remaining, it remains career. Chalanga of Liberty, and then Sambu with Estrada reasserting himself. Chalanga, we know, Larry, doesn't have the great kick, but have they taken enough out of everybody else? You know, the, the three Kenyans just forcing the pace with each other. The pace continues to strangle the rest of the field. Chalanga holding on. He went through the mile and 419 for his first mile. Then pace set down. Everybody up, coalesced up in the lead pack again, and it dawdled in the middle of the race. And then up came Leonard Career and Steven Sabu to press things. And they eventually, have, they've been running 34, 33, 32, one to go. So Leonard Carrera continuing to hammer. Sam Chalanga now in full sprint. Meet record 13, just under 13.29. Chalanga is all out, 100%. And Carrera, you can see the pain on his face. It's going to be Carrera over Chalanga, and they drop Sambu to third. Leonard Carrera looking back for the last time and points his... CAA men's 5,000 meters, and what a lot of games being played. 
over the course of the last mile or so here in College Station. 13 minutes, 25. Let me round it up. 13.26.01. Chalanga, 13.27.34 seconds. Steven Sambu is third. And Diego Estrada from Northern Arizona winds up in fourth. Elliot Heath winds up in fifth. All under 13.30. Not surprising the way this thing went out, Larry. They were flying on this last lap, Dwight. They were well under 30 second pace here. Chalanga doing the best he can, hoping to reel him in right here. But Career responds well down the back stretch and pulls away on the turn. Sam can't hold on. And the senior from Liberty just slips back ever so slightly. I watched Career at the Regional Cross Country Championships and knew he had sprint speed watching the way he ran the race. Big happiness for Iona, for the Gales. His pace through three miles, he went by in about 12 minutes and 51 seconds. And that works out to about four minutes and 16, four minutes and 17 miles, four minutes and 17 seconds per mile for 3.2, uh, 3.1 miles. Just all, terrific time. All three finishers under the old meet record, but Leonard Career gets the title and the record to himself over Sam Chalanga of Liberty, Stephen Sambu of Arizona, all three of them waging quite a technical battle up front, but at a very, very high level.